Little Miss Muffet sat on a tuffet, eating her curds and whey. <laughs> curds and whey? But on a tuffet? I and mean, what's up with that? Anyway, then came a spider and sat down beside her and frightened Miss Muffet away. That's weird. What's so scary about a spider? <laughs> oh, Bill. I love you. Bill Nye the Science Guy. Bill Nye the Science Guy. Brought to you by Silk. It does a spider good. Got Silk? Yeah, it looks like there's spiders living here. You know, there are thousands of different kinds of spiders. But not one of them eats plants or vegetables. No, they all eat other animals. And although not all spiders make webs, they all make silk. And they use their silk to make their homes, catch their food, or just to get around. These spiders are predators. They hunt their food. Uh, they eat insects, mostly. Although some big spiders eat birds and even fish. The diving spider eats tiny fishes and other water animals by sucking the body juice. Now here's the thing. Spiders are not insects. They're different. Take a look at this. It's our larger-than-life spider model of science. <laughs> spiders have a hard exoskeleton. It's a skeleton on the outside. And you can see that spiders are divided into two parts. A head, or cephalothorax, and a body, or abdomen. And spiders have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight legs. You and I have two legs. Insects have six legs. But spiders have eight legs. Unlike insects, spiders don't have antenna. No, uh, these, these are called pedipalps down here. Spiders use their palps for holding. And these are her eyes. She doesn't see very well. Uh, spiders kill the food they eat with fangs and venom, just like a snake. <laughs> And you probably know that spiders can make thin, strong threads. We say that spiders spin silk. And the silk comes out of their spinnerets, which are back here on her abdomen. See, spiders use their silk to spin webs. Now, spiders eat other animals, insects mostly. See, without spiders in the ecosystem, uh -oh. there'd be a lot more insects buzzing around. Uh, see, spiders have a very important role in open, the food Bill. web. See, the web... Look, all I'm saying is every fly was a maggot once. Why dwell on it? Hey, baby! Hey, look at you. You're looking great. You've been working out? Yeah, me too. Hey, look, you want to spruce up your image, right? Okay, look. Cold and malevolent cruelty. You're mean. Hey, come on now. Oh, hey, that, that's them talking. I say focus groups, focus group. That's what I say. We get the word out on how you love to eat pesky insects, huh? Stage a charity event, spinathon, 15 legged race. I'm kidding. And another thing. <laughs> So, what's your name? My name is Ivy. And what's her name? That's Annabelle. And this is Annabelle's daughter, Pinky. Uh, Annabelle probably has a longer name. Yes, yeah, she does. It's Grandma Stolacala, the Chilean rosehair tarantula. Whoa. Tell me about poison, Ivy. Actually, Bill, it's venom. And while all spiders have venom, very few have venom that is harmful to humans. Here, a golden garden spider captures a praying mantis. The spider's bite can poison insects, but few spiders are dangerous to man. This animal has eight legs. That's two more than insects have. Spider bodies have two parts. One, two. Spiders don't use wings. They got silk. All spiders have silk. See, a spider's not an insect. It's a spider. You got a problem with that? Because nope. I'll give you a problem. I don't have a problem. <laughs>
See, world without spiders would be crawling with insects. That would bug you and me. Yeah. Unlike the larva of insects, which spin from their mouths, spiders have a set of tiny spinnerets in the back underside of their body. Like this Chilean rosehair spider. All spiders make silk to line its burrow and make an egg sac and also to feel what's going on behind it. And right now it's me. I'm going on behind it. See that? You're going to unravel that spider sweater doing that. Bells. So it comes out as a liquid. And as soon as it hits the air, it polymerizes. Turns like to natural plastic, a polymer. It's pretty cool. Spider silk is the strongest natural fiber in the world, even stronger than steel. If a spider loses its legs, it can grow new ones. Most spiders get eaten by other spiders. Now you know! Spiders are different from insects because they have two body parts as in to insects which, are, which have three and they also have eight legs which is also different from insects. When you're handling a tarantula you gotta make sure you don't scare them because then you have to calm them down which is really hard because they may start running all over the place. Oh, oh no. Tarantula is a very uh, fragile spider especially in its abdomen area which is like a small water balloon and if you drop it, it will pop. Those kids, they scream when they see a spider. So Spiders are important because if we didn't have spiders in, there would be a lot of bugs in our house because spiders like keep the insect population down because they eat a lot of them. So Rod, we're gonna, uh, we're gonna go hunting spiders, huh? That's the idea. It. Let's get us some spiders. That's the idea. Let's head out on spider safari. That's the idea. So, Rod, how do we go about catching these spiders? Well, this net is called a beating net. It's called a beating net because it's for beating spiders and insects off of vegetation. Now you shove it under the vegetation like this and then beat like this. And the spiders that are standing on these ferns are going to fall off of the ferns into the net. Influenced by gravity. Uh, can I give it a beat? Oh, well, that's a wimpy beat. Oh, well. <laughs> Rod, does a hole in the net affect a spider capture at all? Yeah, probably a few escape. I gotta sew that up one of these days. No hurry, I guess. Got a hole in my sock, too. I'm gonna have to take your word for it on that, Rod. Now we've got a net full of spiders, insects, and little pieces of plants and so forth. Voila. Spiders. Spiders. For the net full. Conifer branches are another good place for spiders. Okay, I think there are a few spiders in here. This is a Philodromus. It belongs to the crab spider family. Philodromus means love to run. Spiders don't move the way we do. No, they, they use their hearts and they pump their legs full of blood. Make them straighten out and then pull themselves up to that part of their leg. See how they straighten their legs out? New from Spiderco, pure protein sticky webs. There's fun with spinnerets. Several times as the spider grows, it sheds its hard outer covering because this covering does not grow with it. So these are the exudia, or the shed skins of tarantulas. After this shedding, or molting as it is called, the empty outer shell is left behind. Sometimes hanging from a thread of silk. 
Look, you can see the hairs. Yes. And uh, these are the fangs. The fangs, everything comes off completely intact. That's the mouth part of the tarantula. And as you can see, um, they have something almost resembling teeth. Teeth, fangs, spinnerets, legs, leg hairs, everything off one chunk. When a spider is ready to eat, it injects an animal with its venomous fangs. Then, many spiders wrap their prey in silk so they can store it to eat it later. Here's one I prepared earlier. Perhaps you recognize it. If you were going to eat a hot dog the same way a spider eats its food, first you'd wrap it up. Then, you'd soak it in digestive juices. Oh, no. Bill, don't do this. Now, because we got to keep this show moving, I'm going to grind it up. Oh, no. Real spiders don't do that. Bill, don't. Oh, no. Bill, come on. Oh. Oh, man. Oh, then when a spider's ready to eat, it eats its food with its sucking mouth parts. Bill. Okay, that's it. I'm out of here. You know, that is not bad. <clears throat> spiders are onto something. <laughs> Would you like some flies with that? species of African baboon spider from Usambara. Spiders use a process of external digestion. They um, spit digestive juices onto their prey, and as it becomes more liquefied, the sucking stomach pulls um, the digested food into the spider's stomach. The story you're about to see is true. The names have been changed to protect the insects. Dum, da dum, dum, dum. This is the city, Arachnia, USA. A lot of creepy, crawly things happen here. It was 2.15 p.m. when I got the call from headquarters. Insecticide. My name's Webb. Spidey Webb. What do you got, Frank? Take a look. Where? Down here. Oh. Common house fly. I never get used to these things. Yeah, he's been stewing those digestive juices for a while. This victim has six legs, but I bet the suspect has eight. I'll run a venom check. Any leads? Take a look. Where? Over there. After rounding up the usual suspects, it didn't take very long until one stood out like eight left feet. Bobby Venom also known as Mr. Silk. Serving out a lifetime sentence of hard web spinning, this criminal wouldn't be sucking insect juices off the street anymore. We always get our arachnids. Oh, careful. This is an African baboon spider, and it's called Histrocrates gigas. They rely on an aggressive temperament as a defense. There's some things. Yeah. Sharp and shiny. My name is Hirotsugu Ono. I'm a curator of the Science Museum in Japan. I really like spiders. This is a spider called Nephila. The species is the biggest spider in Japan, tarantula, and as the tarantula this is not very big, there are many other bigger species. You find uh, different species of spiders uh, in America than we have in Japan, because we have uh, another environment and uh, different uh, evolutionary process. There are about 35,000 spider species in the world, and only 20 species are poisonous. Only 20. 
This is a red black widow spider and this is a poisonous spider. All the spiders eat insects and other small animals and also the spiders. Kumo is not so bad dogs. It's a very interesting and interesting dog. Please check it out. Hello, Kumo. Hello, Kumo. Hello, Kumo. Hello, Spiders are like rock climbers. They always have a safety line, a drag line, silk that they spin and they drag behind them. That way, if they want to get down quickly, they can. Oh, good, look. I caught lunch. Mm, web. Isn't it beautiful? The spider made it so she can trap another victim, inject it with venom, <coughs> kill it, eat it. That's what spiders do. They're predators and they're good at it. I respect that. There is a matter of great importance which I must discuss with you. Harvestmen, also called daddy long legs, are not spiders. They're related. Daddy long legs are not spiders's. Daddy long legs, one body part. Prosoma and opisthosoma join to form single body. Spiders, two body parts. Daddy long legs, no fangs and venom. Spiders, fangs and venom. Daddy long legs, no silk. Spiders, all make silk. Daddy long legs are not spiders's. Can you hear me? Spider webs are pretty. Spider webs are good. Seems that all the spiders weave them with their own silk. Spiders all have feelings. They can walk real good. Even though the silk is really kind of sticky. That's our show. Thanks for watching. If you'll excuse me, I've got some orb weaver niche partitioning to observe. See ya! Produced in association with the National Science Foundation. Spiders are the number one predators on insects. Oh? It's been shown in a forested ecosystem like this that in over a year, half of the insect biomass is going to pass through spiders. Eh? Half of the insects are eaten by spiders? Uh, to oversimplify, yeah. It's a lot of eat. In fact, without spiders, insects would become food limited instead of predator limited. They would keep on eating until they used up all their food. They'd eat up all the plants, they'd eat up all the crops, they'd, they'd, eat, all eat, all, they'd eat up all the stored food and all the granaries of humanity. Humanity couldn't exist, probably. Without spiders. We would become extinct. That's pretty charming. You gotta have spiders to have humans. That's something to think about. Good. Uh, there's a pretty good day of spider hunt. Another day, another spider.